What is going on everybody? Today I have some fancy new bags to review. Now I've been a long time Apidura bag user. When I first started getting into bikepacking about four or five years ago, they represented kind of the crossover point of accessible price and high quality. And I still think they do that now. There are cheaper options, there are more expensive options, but I find that Apidura is just a really good intersection between the two. So I was excited when Apidura wanted to send me their new racing range of bags to review. I've tested them for the last few months and they have been through everything from very hot, dry and dusty summer to yesterday's ride, which was very much not that. Here he goes. Oh, the velo toes do nothing. The velo toes, they don't do anything apparently. I actually, you know what, I think I'll just go back the other way. So let's jump in and talk about these bags. First off the rank, I want to talk about the racing top tube bag. It has a carrying capacity of one entire liter and costs 41 pounds at the moment, which is presumably 10,000 Australian dollars given the state of our economy. I quite like the design of this bag. It fastens on with pretty standard Velcro, has a cool little port in the front of it to run cables through. What I love about it is how waterproof it is and how the closure system works. Now, most top tube bags have a sort of center zip on them. Uh, pretty much every bag I've used to date has that. So for example, this is an Oveja Negra bag. And yeah, it just zips right down the middle. The problem with that is it can get very annoying to get things in and out because you're sort of pushing into a very narrow space and you have to, you know, drag things out. It's a real pain in the bum. Now the Apidura bag, the entire top is a large flap that wraps all the way over. And then it snaps into place with a pretty strong magnet. It is so easy to use, whether you're riding or whether you have stopped riding, it is just a brilliant system to quickly get things in and out. And there's nothing stopping you from getting to what is in the top tube bag. It is also entirely waterproof. The way they've designed it, it completely covers it with the material. And I have ridden it in some horrendously wet weather and everything inside it has stayed perfectly dry. Really my only gripe is that it's not huge. Like I've got a few other bags in my collection that are a bit bigger, but you know, it's so damn good. I don't really care. It is what it is. I've always got those bags to use if I want, but I probably won't just because I prefer this one. Great bag, highly recommended. Now the second bag I'm gonna talk about is the Racing Frame Pack, coming in at 75 fine British pounds. It is again, extremely waterproof. When cleaning my bike one day, I sprayed it very vigorously and directly with a hose and everything that was still in the bag came out completely bone dry. So that is awesome. I also like how they've outlaid the pockets with the right hand side being much larger than the left hand side. So if you've got any flat items like a phone or a wallet, you just chuck that in the left and it is held in there nice and tight. And that's a really good system because I don't like bags that are split down the middle because once you pack both sides, they tend to bulge really badly and rub against your legs. This old style of Apidura bag did exactly that and it always bugged me. So the new design is excellent. Now the zippers are nice and easy to get into when you're riding. They don't put up too much resistance when you're doing them up and undoing them. And there's five contact points with the straps onto your frame. So everything's held in really firmly and it doesn't wobble around or shake too much. Again, not too many gripes with this bag. A Couple of the straps are really long. It's not a big deal particularly, but yeah, I do find I have to sort of fold them up to stop them from flapping down and, and touching the tire. But I would say something that all buyers really need to be aware of is that it's designed to fit a bike with a bit of head tube on it. So here is some footage of my friend Shane using it on his 3T Explorer, which has a head tube. I've also been using it on the Bossy Grit, again, has a head tube, but I cannot use it on the Grove because there is not a head tube to fit in. So I lose a bottle cage. So if you've got a really small frame or you have one that has no head tube, I would say steer clear of this bag because you're gonna have to sacrifice some space to be able to use it. And there's other bags that will be able to suit your purposes a bit better. Again, though, I think this is an excellent bag, comes highly recommended. Now, this is where things start to take a turn and I move to the Racing Handlebar Mini Pack. This thing, two and a half liters of storage, coming in at 60 pounds. And I really wanted to like this bag because it would have made a nice clean set all looking good on your beloved bike, but I don't because the closure system is 
bad. I will say though, with all the other products, the bag is really waterproof. Again, it's been very wet and nothing inside has gotten any moisture on it at all. It has been designed to give you sort of quick access to all your stuff when you're riding, but that closure system drives me absolutely crazy. It's held closed by a small strip of Velcro kind of right in the center of the bag. The problem is that the corners are really rigidly square. So when you're pulling it from the center, it draws the corners inwards and it means that it doesn't fit over properly. And it is really fiddly to get closed, especially when you're riding. Then when it's got any sort of decent amount of things in it, like all your standard sports nutrition, like I have here, I am an athlete after all, and maybe a gilet, it gets even harder because once it's full, again, it's sort of pushing front and back and it's so hard to get the corners over. The absolute worst thing though, is that the Velcro will not keep it closed when you're riding in bumpy conditions. All it takes is just a few Kit Kats or very unfortunately, my beloved little Sony camera apparently. All it takes is a few things and a few bumps and it will just completely blow the lid open and all your stuff will come out. That has happened to me so many times. On my ride yesterday, all I had was a spare tube and a few chocolate bars and it came open three times. Chocolate bars, a 40 gram chocolate bar just bouncing around will blow the lid open. The worst part is that it only happens on really bumpy terrain. So a lot of the time it'll happen when you're descending. So you have to somehow come to a stop, gather up all of your stuff, put it back together, fasten it and get going on a bumpy descent. Oh, it is not good. If you are riding just on the road, no problem. There's no bumps that are going to do this to you. But for me, I want this for gravel and I want it for adventuring. And this bag, I do not trust it at all. Sorry, Apajura. The rest of the stuff is great, but this is a no from me. So let's wrap this up, guys. The top two bag fantastic, highly recommended. Frame bag, fantastic, highly recommended. Handlebar bag, only if you're riding perfectly smooth roads. I think it would be fine on a road bike, no problems with it there, but for me, no thanks. If you wanna buy these bags, head on over to Apigura's website. I am not incentivized to sell Apigura stuff. I don't make any money or anything from them, so don't worry about that. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff really helps me out. Head over to Love Velo Cheetah. That's the website I run. I do a lot more articles than I do videos. So there's tons of content of mine over there. Thanks for joining me as always, and I'll see you next time.